Hello there, I'm Tom Seaman. Uh, I am half of the ownership of the Art Shack Studio and Gallery in Southport, North Carolina. Linda Platt and I are both artists and this is an env environment that allows us to do our art uh, all the time our way uh, because of the, of the uh, the way a gallery works, we're free to create what we want to create and put it out there for people to see. We're not bound by what we think will sell. Linda is uh, a painter, a fabulous painter, and potter as well. She does most of the pottery in here as well as the paintings on the outside walls. Uh, I do the metal sculpture. Linda and I have been together for 26 years. We just decided uh, she was gonna be an artist as well. Uh, she always had the talent. And we said, we'll break free. And we headed south where there was no more snow to Southport, North Carolina. Uh, when we arrived here in 97, uh, it was a beautiful place, but not a lot of place to do work. Uh, we ended up uh, starting our business in a fruit stand that had been abandoned, uh, built 30 years before. We were there for five seasons, moved then to a gas station, then to a pawn shop. Uh, all older buildings here in Southport that could accommodate the mess that we make. We were able to acquire this property in 2004 and opened up the existing art shack in November 15, 2005. It's a beautiful building, it now had air conditioning, it was clean, we had separate working space, we weren't right in front when you came in. Uh, and it, we started to attract artists. Uh, and they looked around and decided this would be a great place for them to show their work and asked if we would consider it. We considered it and we have been a gallery ever since. We're known for being different. Uh, most people who travel here from elsewhere uh, don't expect what we have in a cute little seaside community like Southport. Uh, we thrive on original art uh, and original thought, uh, and it's worked out for us so far, and we're very happy to be here. When we first moved down here, and most of the people who approached us, especially in the gas station where we were at the time, would come in and look at my work and go, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> and I understood it. Uh, it's more about the, the form, the movement, the meaning of, of texture, negative space, uh, uh, color, light that intrigues me. Uh, I've been trained to do uh, human anatomy and busts and things of that sort, but it's not what I wanted to do. When I became aware that I could do it well, I stopped. And now I create things that come from my mind, not from my sight. So I don't seek to recreate what I see, but to interpret it and also reinterpret it in ways that nobody else has ever done before. To me, to create art that's been done by somebody else is a waste of time. Why would I, why would I ever want to do that? Not everybody understands that uh, because it doesn't appeal to everybody. But that's not my purpose in creating art, uh, to appeal to everybody. I just want to make beautiful things. And I've done thousands of pieces over the years and they've all sold to the one person who said, I need to have this in my life. It's a great way to make a living. Don't expect to get rich because you're not going to get rich. But who cares? The life we lead is rich. Linda and I are free to create whatever we want, whenever we want, and it works. We had this designed, and I general contracted this building uh, in a U shape. Uh, you go down one arm and it's our house where we live so that we don't have to travel uh, to get to work. Uh, and on the other wing is uh, our studios for Linda and myself and for some storage. In between, we have uh, a sculpture garden. This whole property is dominated by two live oak trees that come up over it and sort of like an umbrella. It's beautiful. We had to cut them back because of hurricanes a little bit, but uh, that provided us the opportunity to take the space underneath these 
these beautiful trees and do something special. People just walk back there and they're just, look, this is beautiful because it's, we have to be on the main drag to be in business, but we don't have to live with the traffic noise from 211. And back here, we don't. Just light the fire in the fire pit, fire up the barbecue, sit in the chairs, drink some wine, have some cheese. And we entertain that way uh, as well. We've got more than a dozen fabulous jewelry artists. You're not gonna find this jewelry in a jewelry store. It's just not there and it never will be. To me, uh, to spend four, five, six hundred dollars for a piece of jewelry is a lot of money. Most people who come in here, they drop thousands at a hat for something that's far less desirable to me at a jewelry store, because that's the way it's done. Uh, we have jewelry from $6 to $900. We have sculptures from $200 to $3,000. Glass, beautiful blown glass, fused glass, stained glass, all these artists are in here creating fabulous items that hang in your windows, they can go out in the yard, they can sit on your table, you can eat from them. It's just a wonderful place to be. Uh, the paintings, this is uh, so soothing. This young lady, uh, Jean Turner, French Turner, is local. All our artists are local. Uh, it's really soothing and so on. It's just, you just want that. That artist over there paints with wax. It's beeswax. It's a 3,000 year old tradition, but people don't even know it exists. And her skill level is off the charts. We've got people who've been doing this for five years, 55 years, but they all have one thing in common. They're true to their art. They're true to who they are and what they want to do with their life, with their art, and they're dedicated to it. And we attract those people because they know they're going to be well represented here. We understand them. We're coming from the same root in terms of wanting to express ourselves with something beautiful. And we love it when people come in and enjoy what we've got. It's generally a surprise. Their mouths drop when they see a 24 foot ceiling in here, when they come in, because it doesn't look that way from the outside. It's so much larger than it looks like from the outside, but it's a place of wonder as well. One day we had a couple come in, a family, not a very sophisticated family. They just came in, two kids, mom, dad, and they walked around about 20 minutes, a half hour. And they stopped by where we were seated. And he said to me, you know, I know I'm still in Southport, but I feel like I've been transported to a different world. And it's really beautiful in here. I know when I walk through the door, I'm gonna be back in Southport. But I thank you, he said, for this experience. Is there any other reason to be an artist? <laughs> That's what it's all about. If you can take somebody and change their lives or their feeling or inspire or raise them up, make them feel joy. That's what art's about. That's what we're about. Not to the level that I get emotional about it, excuse me. <laughs> but we're successful in doing that. And we're blessed by being able to do that. And that's why everybody comes back. Not everybody finds us because you're going 45 miles an hour past us. We're not downtown. But once they stop in here, this is the word you hear. Gee, I never knew this was here. I've missed this for so long, I can't believe it. And then they never, they don't ignore us. They stop here first next time, whether or not they're from California, Ohio, Arkansas, or just down the road. Um, that's why we're here.